It's often hard to see the stars when you're downtown because of the light pollution. Well, the Royal Astronomical Society and McGill University today unveiled an observatory at the Morgan Arboretum. Rafi Bujikanyan has more from St. Anne de Bellevue. Bettina Forger has enjoyed looking skyward since she was a little girl. She still remembers first spotting Saturn. You could actually see the rings and the rings kind of split in two and I just gasped. And this is still one of the favorite things that I show my friends. When now she'll be able to show them with this, a 14-inch telescope at the Morgan Arboretum. The Royal Astronomical Society says the project was a decade in the making. We all share the passion for the night sky and we'd love to share that passion of the universe with the public. So what we do is every month we hold free public star parties where we invite the public out. In fact, the Morgan Arboretum says those parties could become so popular it may have to expand its limited parking space. We need to have a suitable parking for people, suitable washroom facilities and those kinds of things. We have some but when we get 500 people, it's more complicated. The Royal Society says Morgan has the darkest skies on the island of Montreal, making it the best spot for a new observatory. As for what's next for the facility, organizers say they want to earn urban star park status from the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada. Morgan Arboretum would only be the second place in the country to earn such a title. Rafi Bujikanian, CBC News, St. Anne de Bellevue. Here's your quick